Hey guys, what's up? This is Jeff Eronimo and thank you for watching this video. So for today, I'll show you my workflow from Adobe Lightroom to Photoshop, editing, and interior photo layout. So currently, you're seeing my settings. So for the basic control panel, uh, you can see my settings for texture, clarity, vibrance, and all other stuff. Next thing is for the sharpening. So I'm just adjusting the masking of my sharpening tool so that uh, it will just focus on the edge. Other than that, I'll uh, just checking the remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction just to correct the curvatures of my photos if there's any. So right now I'm syncing the settings all throughout the sequence of this layout so currently i think we have 26 selected and I, we will import it inside photoshop so right now we're inside photoshop and importing is done so i'm just rearranging the files based on how i'll edit the layers one of the important things that you need to know in editing this kind of photos is your blending option. So it might vary, but right now I'm most of the blending option that I'm using is screen and lighten. So right now, as you can see, I'm just filling up the shadows here, and that's the goal. So you have um a base photo which is as you can see here, my foyer um, photo is really uh, the only one that is lighted. And I'm just filling up the shadows of the whole living room area with this or, or with those um, photos that we have. So currently we're at our fourth photo and yeah, we're just filling out the shadows right now. No fancy stuff. But uh, in shooting interior photography, you really need to be mindful if you are co covering your whole frame with your light, especially if you're using strobes. So my technique here is uh, before shooting strobes, uh, you, later you can see or you will see the three photos that I have before shooting strobe lights. I have the ambient light only. So I'm bracketing my photos from negative two to zero to positive two photos of exposures so that I have a safe one if ever that there are things or there are parts of the living room area or other layouts that I will not be covering and yeah so that's the thing here you be you really need to be mindful in um shooting your strobes or lighting up your scenes so especially those corners it's really tricky since sometimes you thought na you already covered up those areas but it's really not covered so i'm shooting multiple photos really uh, sometimes it's too redundant but it's okay since it's better to be redundant than than rather in post that you it's really problematic if it's not yet covered so right now i'm pulling in those lights so i'm using screen blending option and as you can see i'm pulling those lights from my ambient uh, exposure the negative to uh, exposure bracketing that i'm mentioning earlier so right now i'm layering the fake sunlight which i really love so i'm a fan of gobo lighting so having this kind of lights in my interior photography is really my favorite part so as you can see you can see me outside the uh, area lighting up the whole scene from the outside just to create those fake sunlight lighting and Actually, I love those uh, photos without any editing. But again, we're editing interior photography. So we need to make sure that all are lit up well and being too realistic as well. Since we are shooting for an interior 
designer brand like the high-end interior so shout out to high-end interior and thank you for trusting my craft in shooting your um, designs so our goal here is to imitate their 3d renders and to execute it as much as possible the same as the 3d render so that's our work for this shoot so we need really to be um well how do how do i say this uh, meticulous in terms of the linings as you can see i'm using healing brush tool here to correct those imperfections dust and other dirt that might appear since this is still under renovation so we they're just fixing some details during our shoots in addition you can see that i added some curves i just increase the mids a little bit really a little bit just to boost those um, details and also added some vibrance not saturation i think i added um, a little bit of saturation but most especially the vibrance just to pop those woods uh, out of the frame and also i added some color look up just to read off those cool tones from the photo since i'm using um, a white balance uh, color profile just to add a little bit of warmth inside our photos so here is the before and after of our photo so stack uh, this is a 26 images stuck together to create this photo so i hope you've learned something uh, two or three things inside this video and let me know in the comment section below if you want one again of this kind of tutorial i'll try to shoot a bts next shoot from high interiors and i hope uh, i can give justice on how i shoot my photos so that's all for today guys thank you for watching this video if you like to learn more about photography videography editing and vlogging please do consider clicking the like and share button and also subscribe as well <laughs> so that's all i think uh, once again this is jeff Ronimo. thank you for watching this video see you on my next one Bye. Peace.